What's up guys? Lately I've had this urge to discover new fishing locations. I didn't have big hopes to catch many fish, so I thought I could press every location into one juicy little video for you. I was led to some beautiful places and I can't wait to show them to you all. Fishing is not my strong suits, but I do find it to be more and more fun every time I bring this stick with me on my adventures. Enough talking dudes, let's get to the fishing. Oh yeah. This was a nice looking location and I had it all to myself. The only problem is the very limited space we are allowed to fish from. I got a teeny tiny fisher, probably the smallest fish I've ever gotten, but it was a delight to finally catch something of an endless amount of cost. Swim a little. This lake is surrounded by roads. I kept tearing cars and trailers non-stop. If you're able to ignore that, you can really enjoy the woods on its east side. I've seen a bunch of fish jumping, but I've never even gotten a nibble on my hook. Only one letter differentiates this place name with the first one, but in reality they are two completely different worlds. This place was so beautiful I had to come here the very next day as well. I tried to trick you into believing that the footage was from the same day, so I put on the same sweaty t-shirt from the day before, but wearing shorts instead of pants the second day kinda blew my cover. This is a dam which was restored not so long ago and apparently got a little freak in the process. I can't imagine that there are any fish swimming in it just yet. Still, it was worth walking the extra minutes from Langevatne to check out this place.
And that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me on my little fishing adventure. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see what I'll be up to next. And press the button that looks like this. Until then, take care. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, yeah.